Guys, keep it going for Roland, huh? Bro, you don't want to hide behind here anymore? I was kind of hoping you were just going to be here. Like, like a weird fucking comedy goblin coming out of the room. Like the girl from the ring. Like, oh yes, is there time for more jokes now? <laughs> hey, uh, guys, give it up for all the other opening acts. Yeah, we had uh, Sebastian, we had Sam, we had Josh. Welcome, internationals. Welcome, uh, people of uh, Linz. Welcome, uh, Sam's former fuck friends. You guys seem like, uh, <laughs> you guys seem like a fun little group. Yeah, this is my last show in uh, Austria. I did, uh, I did uh, a lot, all your, all your cities, and I like it because you guys all hate all the other cities. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I was in, uh, I was in Vienna, and they're like, "Oh, where are you going next?" I'm like, oh, "I'm going to Graz." They're like, "That's a shithole." <laughs> and then I was in Graz, like, "Where are you going next?" I'm like, oh, "I'm going to Salzburg." They're like, that's a shithole. <laughs> and then I was in South, like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to Linz. Like, they're all fucking rednecks. There. <laughs> but like, bro, I, I don't know if you guys realize this. Like, every city in Austria is the fucking same. <laughs> you guys all talk shit about each other. You're all the same. Okay? Old ass buildings, monuments. The fucking city split by a goddamn canal. <laughs> all of your football clubs are fucking dog shit. Okay? <laughs> guys are the same. I like it though. I've been learning some German uh, while I'm here. Let's, uh, no, no, they didn't teach me bad things to say. Let's, let's test my uh, German accent. Um, ich bin ein Alligator Oschlander. <laughs> Don't tell anybody though, you know? Like, <laughs> but yeah, dude, here we are. Fucking me. You guys want it? You guys got it. Just an unknown Canadian comedian, you know? <laughs> Thank you for coming uh, to the bomb shelter. It's, uh, it's fun, you know? Did they used to hide certain people down here in the 1940s? I don't know. I mean, I was told you guys have a dark sense of humor. That was a tester joke, you know? Like, uh, you guys are a fun crowd, though, man. This is, uh, you, guys are, you guys are a hot, young crowd. Uh, if we could all raise our uh, glasses, I would like to propose a toast, if I may, uh, to you, the people of Linz, and uh, to batteries and buttholes. Oh. Uh, two things we shouldn't lick, but we do anyways. Cheers. <laughs> Bro, this is fun though, man. I like it. It seems like COVID is overall like tightly put together. You know, we're all like fucking raw dogging the same air as each other. Dude, I love it. Except for you two guys. You guys are fucking with the flow rate. Right? No, I'm just kidding. Do you? Do you, do you. It's like, yeah, as soon as they like get rid of the mandates, everybody just immediately wants to like spit in each other's mouths and just fucking the world goes on, you know? <laughs> this girl's like, yeah, I want to spit in your mouth right now. <laughs> yes, you stupid Canadian boy. That's what you like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your face on the posters that they posted outside. The screenshot of the Instagram that they just took. Photoshop. Yeah. I like it. That's the thing, man. You guys are all fucking hot. Bro, I'm like an eight in Canada. I'm like a fucking four here. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's hot. You're all like, you all have good jobs and shit. Were you just, what were you guys discussing? You're like, I don't think I'd fuck them. No, I would not. <laughs> I don't think so as well. What's your name? Christina. Christina? Also. And I am also Christina. Yeah. <laughs> this is the start of every porn, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drunk Canadian spit roasts the Christinas. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I like that. So Christina one, are, are are you are you Austrian? Yes. Yeah, and you're Austrian as well too? Yeah. Okay, nice. And you guys both grew up here in Linz, born and raised? More or less, yes. More or less, okay. I mean, that was an easy question. I don't know why you hesitated, <laughs> but uh, what, uh, what do you do here, Christina? What's your job? Um, I'm an engineer for autonomous driving. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, bro, everyone here is like so accomplished, bro. Like, I asked these questions, like, I, when I was in Graz, I asked her, I was like, what do you do? They're like, doctor, and then, like, what do you do? They're like, I'm like a fucking astrophysicist or like some shit. Everyone's so accomplished, bro. I tell dick jokes for a living. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Christina, too, what do you do? I swear to fucking God. Please say barista, like, make me feel good, you know? What do you do? Almost, I'm an associate at law firm. <laughs> So successful and fuckable, like. <laughs> That's fucking great. You guys, do you girls have boyfriends? 
Yeah? Pause. Where, where are they? At home? Yeah, you're like, fuck them. It's girls night. <laughs> you know, we're getting shit-faced on a Monday. I like that. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm in, a, I'm in a relationship now, too. I'm happy because now I don't have to fucking date anymore. I hated dating, bro. I did. And, like, uh, ladies, if, if you're single, on behalf of a formerly single guy, please stop asking us to go for fucking coffee dates. Okay? <laughs> it's bullshit. All right? Like, do I look like the type of guy that wants to have a sober chit-chat with a stranger? <laughs> Bro, I get so judgmental when I'm sober, too. I'd be like, please, uh, tell me about yourself. And I'm like, well, I like long car rides and outdoor adventures. <laughs> I'm like, what are you, a cocker spaniel? Get out of here. <laughs> you don't get asked on second dates when you fucking talk like that. You know? <laughs> I took, uh, I took my girlfriend on, on what I thought was a good date, because, you know, if you want to keep getting the, you know, you got to take them out on good dates, right? So I'm calling on the ladies on this one. Ladies, I took, uh, I took my girlfriend to the spa. Good date or bad date? It's a good date? You guys like the spa? It's a great date. It's a good date. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking guy from the Dos Equis commercials just like chatting in. Stay thirsty, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I fucking hated the spa, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll level with you though, great place to go if you want to spend $300 to smell like eucalyptus, but uh, <laughs> other than that, I didn't care for it. And if everyone who's been to the spa here, what do you guys think of the fucking shush police they have there? For, for those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, there's parts of the spa where you can't talk. Right? So like, I put my Visa card down and I thought it was hot shit, I climbed into the hot tub, you know what I mean? I'm like, you know what babe, this is pretty sweet, I can get used to this. And then from through a shrub, this woman was like, shh. <laughs> First of all, who fucking applies for this job? Okay? I'm thinking a bunch of like alcoholic librarians that want a second chance at employment. <laughs> I don't like being told to shut up, right? So I'm like, babe, we gotta go do something else. Like, let's go get a drink or something. She's like, no, there's all these saunas. There's saunas from all over the world. How about we go to the German sauna? I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I've seen World War II documentaries. I know how that fucking works. <laughs> it's not too soon for a World War II reference. No. <laughs> I like that you guys warmed up to it second time around. That's, uh, gotta, it's like anal, you gotta lube you guys up a little bit. <laughs> I like it, I like it. What's your name? Jenna. Jenna, welcome down. Are you, are you Austrian? No. No? You're like, fuck no. <laughs> Um, what, um, what, what, what are you? Yeah. What are you? Yeah. What are you, bro? Yeah. What, what is it? I'm American. I'm from Michigan. American from Michigan. Yeah. Cool. Welcome down. And uh, what, what's your job? What do you do? Mm, I'm a teacher at you're the university. You're a teacher? Yeah. Cool. So you're not a performer? Not yet. Okay. Get your fucking feet <laughs> off my stage, then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just tell them a jokes, you know? Yeah. I like it. This is your boyfriend? Uh, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> hey, you know, I like that. Nah, man. That's what it, that is what we call a situation ship. You know? Because, bro, dating is like, you know, like Netflix and like Spotify. You know, you get that 30 day free trial. I'm not sure if she wants to renew you. <laughs> I like that. That's good. How long have you guys been dating? A year. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Dave, I'll tell you what. If you can finally make me come, I'll give you the title of boyfriend. That's what you want. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. What's your name, dude? Udo. Udo. Okay, you found yourself an Austrian. <laughs> a visa. A what? A visa. A visa. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, there is nothing sexier than that. I will let you figure me if you give me a green card. Yes. I like that. I like that. How did you guys meet? Um, through family and friends. We're not, <laughs> we're not famous. Awesome. I was Trinoso. Fuck, I was about to ask Sebastian, what's German for incest? Um, <laughs> okay, okay. So you guys met through family and friends, even though you're from America and he's fucking Austrian. Um, I have Austrian family. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. So you guys met through family and friends. So, like, what was, uh, what was your first date? Have we been on a date? We went to Italy. Yo, man, I like that this is like the Springer show. Like, ah, shit! Yeah, you guys are like, I want world star hip hop at the fucking show, bro. That's good. started like in COVID, so we couldn't go on a date. So you guys just fucked. I get it. That's allowed. It's cool. 
Yeah, straight to the fucking. I like I like how I like how Europeans get down, bro, you know? It's good. Well are you are you with them? Yeah. Yeah? You're what? He's your uncle? Oh, I thought you were either the gay best friend or the third wheel. I wasn't sure. Who was the third Keeps in the fan, okay. I like that. Second applause break of the show. First applause break when Sam was talking about hand jobs. <laughs> Let that be known. Okay, what, what's your name, bro? I'm Paul. Paul? Yeah. Sweet. What, uh, are you are you are you Austrian as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What what do you do here? What's your job? Uh, my job here. Yeah. Or well, where else do you have jobs? <laughs> what do you do to pay your bills, Paul? <laughs> A, a what promoter? And use a promoter. Yeah. Can someone fucking translate for me, please? <laughs> I didn't think I'd need subtitles for English, but here we are. Uh, he works at a clothing company. Okay. He yeah. promotes like the, the clothing company. He's the like a wholesaler. Thank you. Yeah. Th thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. No, you did do great. I'm just uh, uh, drunk. Um, yeah. Uh, that's cool, man. So like, you you dress up all like the fucking hip young kids and fucking lives, eh? Hey? Kind of. He's looking at me, he's like, you look like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, people look at me and then they just assume I'm gonna ask them for cocaine, you know? <laughs> yeah. I have the look of someone that fucks his girlfriend to Drake's music. <laughs> that joke's funnier in Canada, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. But welcome down, buddy. You having a fun time so far? Yeah, sure. Good. <laughs> sure. <laughs> No refunds, bro. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, welcome, guys. How, how are you? Welcome to the show. I like that you look the other direction. You're like, I like Netflix comedy better. I don't like when the fucking TV talks to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> buddy, listen, you're in first class right here, buddy. You're, you're my prime target. What's your name, dude? Sorry? Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and this is your wife, girlfriend? Your boss. Oh. Have you ever heard the phrase "Don't dip your pen in the company ink, bro"? <laughs> I like that. I like that. So, so you're just trying to get a promotion, and you thought it would be good to lure her in a basement and have some fucking unknown Canadian asshole yell dick jokes, buddy. You're gonna take over the company, like I got you. <laughs> Okay, so what's the company then? Well, developing some kind of software for self-driving vehicles. Yeah. Self-driving vehicles, I like that. Why the fuck is he more legible than you are? <laughs> what's the name of the company? Free advertising for everyone. K-O-N-T-R-O-R. Cool. <laughs> Welcome down, guys. Welcome. Are you having fun? Are you going to fire him tomorrow? Or? Yeah, this is an HR nightmare for you guys. Yeah. I like it. Good on you. Good on you. Okay, we had hot Christina 1 and 2. That's good. That's good on to you guys. Are you with both of these girls, buddy? No. Just, that is a scared, terrified boyfriend. No, I fuck one person and that's it. I'm not even allowed to look at other girls. Are you with the Christinas? Yeah, I'm Please with fucking tell me you're Christina 3. <laughs> I'm sorry. Me too. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have to jerk off to something else tonight. That's unfortunate. Uh, what's, what's your name? Natalia. Natalia. Fuck, that's hot too. Yeah. I, I will accept that. And Natalia, what, what do you, like, you're Austrian? Uh, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> you guys are uh, very vague with everything. I like that. Okay, so kind of. So you're like half Austrian, half... Polish. Polish. Nice. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, uh, how do you know the, the Christinas? We know each other from school. From school. Nice. What do you take in school? What? Oh, you're not in school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in school. Okay, so then what, what do you do now? What's your job? Uh, I'm a strategic project manager. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what does that even mean, man? <laughs> fuck, you are hot, too. Jesus. Is that boyfriend? Yeah. She's like, please don't talk to me. <laughs> I like that. 
like that. I like it. The girls are just like, fuck it. The guys can stay at home. <laughs> we were getting shittered in this weird bomb shelter base. <laughs> I like it. All right, buddy, it's your turn now. <laughs> My guy. Handsome fella. Good for you. Yeah, I met him last Friday. Nice. <laughs> Straight to the fucking sex, bro. I like it. Yeah. Fuck, this guy fucks for sure. <laughs> nice, nice bone structure, you know what I mean? <laughs> this guy's fucking dick has... Wait, they're related? They're related? Oh, These two? You want to do that? Related set! Okay, I'm taking that one. Bro! Paul, is this your cousin? Yeah? yeah? What's your name, buddy? Winston. Winston, just like in Pulp Fiction. Winston? Winston. 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 <laughs> like Winston, but you're saying it really fast. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Yeah. And then what's your name? Jess. Jess? Yeah. Fuck, finally. There She's we go. Not in all <laughs> She's what? She's not in all families. Thank yeah. fucking God. <laughs> Like you're like the self-proclaimed like secretary of the show. Now. <laughs> Every time that I talk to somebody, not incest. <laughs> you know what? We'll do it like Roman times. Just give me a this or a this. You know? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> really good. That's good. Listen. Yep. <laughs> sounds like I sneezed when I say that. I like that. That's fine. So you guys met last Friday. Yep. Straight to sex. No. No. We're holding out. Yeah, just a little bit. Until next Friday, you know? Okay, <laughs> okay uh, and then how, how did you guys meet? Um, in front of a bar. In front of a bar? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the old, hey, do you got a lighter? Also, like, what are you doing later? Like, is that one of the. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Me and my best friend, she's out for the first time in three years because she had a baby, and we were like, I was Mom's night out? Yeah. yeah. So uh, we were passing this bar and they, the guys were out there and... They are cat calling you. Yeah, there was no one in there so we find somewhere different but it was shitty there so we went back to them. It was less shitty. You're like, wow, the bars are so dead tonight, I better go hang out with the douchebags that whistled at me. <laughs> it did work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys are touching. This is you guys at least got to like first base though? Like you guys are like, yeah. yeah, okay, that's good. First base I in Europe I think is anal, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just bred differently here, you know? That's good. Good for you though, taking your uh, your your friend out after she had a baby, good for you. Yeah, my my two best friends. See, I, I hate children a lot. You guys have kids? Who has kids here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate children. Man. It's like now I'm now I'm at that and like I I hate children more because I spend a lot of time on planes and trains since I've been here. That is yeah. There's a lot of canals here and I want to drown them in it. I know that's dark, but like, bro. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's it's something else. My, uh, I just don't like uh, when like uh, people. This is like a white person thing. Like white people think that they deserve the world for doing like basic human accomplishments. Like my two best friends, they had their first kid. They had three parties for this little shit before it's even before it was even born. Okay, let's count it up. They had a diaper party for the boys. They had a baby shower for the girls, and then they had a gender reveal for everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Three parties because you busted a nut? That's offensive. Okay? No one's making me a nice meat and cheese board when I use my Olympic level pull out game. Nobody. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys this. Next time that I don't knock up my girlfriend, someone in here owes me a tool set. <laughs> and I'm not going to use it, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Good for you, though. Nice. You guys should fuck tonight. Give me the way. Howie just got a cock like a python on him. Too. <laughs> Your dick has seen more girls' lips than fucking espresso cups. Gares. <laughs> like you say Jesus Christ, it's gonna get a lot worse. Fucking fuck a lot. Okay. Now everyone's looking away. They're like, fuck. I don't want him to talk. <laughs> Fucking bad, buddy. We're a small room. I'm getting to everybody. Bro. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> my guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember my first beer, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, buddy? Dylan. 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 Dylan.
Dylan. <laughs> Dylan? <laughs> that is not what I expected. I'm like, I am, uh, I am Gregor. <laughs> Dylan, 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 Fucking Dylan. He's just one of the lads, one of the fellas. Where are you from, bro? I'm from Colorado, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fuck you are. <laughs> Welcome down to Dylan. I like it. What, why are you in Linz? School. Nice. A girl brought me here. Okay. <laughs> this girl? No, actually not this Okay. <laughs> Nah, bro, my side piece. She's not here. I left, I left her at home like the Christina's did, you know? <laughs> so you're from Colorado and then you came to Linz for school. What, you, what Dare I ask what the fuck you were taking in school? <laughs> Leading innovative organizations. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Again, what the fuck does any of this shit mean? <laughs> we don't even know. <laughs> you just want an expensive piece of paper, I get it. Oh, cool. No, it's not expensive here. Oh, that's why you're here. Okay, I get it. Nice, nice. Is this your girlfriend? No, no. No. I have a girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> We're in 2022, that gets an applause for Yeah, yeah, I like pussy too, fuck. We're in the same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then how did you guys meet? You don't seem like you'd hang out with a typical fucking donkey like Dylan. Leading innovative organization. Okay, Dylan, listen. I'm gonna take you to a comedy show. I have no one else to go with. My girlfriend isn't available. Don't fucking embarrass me. That was pretty much it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. You're fine. You have big labia energy. I like it. Not like a big labia, but like it's like the female version of big dick energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. What's your name? Melissa. Melissa. And where where are you from? California. California. Okay. So the Americans unite. I like that. Americans outside America. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> California, and then so you came. You obviously came here for for school as well too. Do you guys like living in Austria? I love it. Yeah. What about you, Dylan? What do you think? Oh, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> You're like I don't get laid ever, but it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. I like it. Well, welcome down, guys. We'll do uh, a million shots of Hennessy after the show. How does that sound? Great. <laughs> you immediately looked away. I like that. You knew you were next. <laughs> You're ready? Okay. Oh no, I met you guys outside. Yeah. yeah, you guys were the first people here. Okay, let me, uh, uh, Larissa, and, uh, oh, fuck, she's Romanian, you're Austrian, you have like a problem, huh? Angelica. Angelica, that's right, you pronounce it like an asshole, like you do it at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an Austrian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like that, I like that. Good. Welcome down. These, are, these guys were here first, okay? Woo! <laughs> You guys will give applause breaks to anyone. Hand jobs, applause breaks. I'm a lesbian, applause breaks. I was here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, that's good. Okay, so, um, okay, Romanian, Austrian, friends, co workers. Co workers. Were you? We're trying to make up a story here. I like that. Fuck with the Canadian. I'm gonna believe anything you say, so it's fine. Um, okay, then how did you guys meet then? Where? <laughs> oh, okay, you actually are. You weren't fucked with me. Okay. Yeah, I'm the worker, but I was. I consider her my friend. <laughs> oh. Okay, I missed that last part. Why are you guys on? <laughs> I gotta start saying sober so for these fucking shows. I consider her my friend, but apparently she doesn't consider me her friend. <laughs> Bro, listen. Look me in the eye, Larissa. Austrians are cold ass motherfuckers. <laughs> Austrians are cold as fuck. Bro, you have no idea what I went through to get here. My first show was last week in Vienna. It took me 37 fucking hours to get to Vienna, okay? And the first Austrian person that I was talking to, these fucking Austrians, they're so fucking condescending. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to an Austrian, I'm like, yeah, man, I'm pretty tired. It took me like 37 hours to get here. I'm like, oh yeah, how sad for you. <laughs> Bro, you guys are all assholes, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I love you, but like, fuck off. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's good. Well, we're going to do shooters as well. I'm going to be rolling. I apologize. I'm going to be blackout after this show. This is going to be a fun car ride back to Vienna. This is going to be good. I like it. Okay, here we go. Dan, I haven't, I haven't done the side, the side yet. I like this. My guy. Hi, I'm Gregor. <laughs> No, if my secretary doesn't confirm it, it doesn't fucking count. Yeah. He's lying. He's lying. He is Gregor? Yes. Oh, Gregor. We call him Gretchen because he's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking let an American talk to you like that? Come on. <laughs> He's like, I've already fucked her, I don't care. <laughs> Gregor, Gregor, yeah, bro, you sound like you like hurl rocks at people in like the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What do you, uh, okay, so you're, you're Austrian? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you're part of the least accomplished here. Oh, my guy, finally. Yeah, finally another accomplished person. This is good. What do you do? What's your job? Uh, Wi-Fi? That's what I do. You do Wi-Fi. <laughs> Swiping up. So, like, when you go to a restaurant, they're like, can I get you something to drink? You're like, just the Wi-Fi. He's a hotspot. That's all I want. Yeah, bro, hotspot me too, fuck, bro. I'm not, I'm not running on data here, you know? <laughs> you do Wi-Fi. <laughs> you know what, buddy? You're off the hook. I'm not even gonna fucking touch that one. <laughs> Is this your buddy beside you? Yeah, that's good movie. Yeah? Well, I am gonna ask you. What the fuck are you doing? show! You think I'm gonna ask what his favorite fucking color is? What is your favorite color? Blue. Blue? Nice. Yeah. Good, call. good call. What's your name, buddy? Martin. Martin? And are you Austrian as well? I am Austrian. So okay. So what? See? Quickly answers my question. Is it like, ah, nah, nah. <laughs> Political leadership fucking whatever stupid program you're in. What, uh, what's your job, Martin? What do you do? Uh, I work at the newspapers. Nice. Uh, Edward Marketing. You're not going to tell him I'm in Auschwitz, right? No. <laughs> I mean, that would be a pretty quick way for me to get home, but then I wouldn't be allowed back, you know what I mean? That's nice. And then, uh, like, you guys are buddies from what, school? Where? We play softball together. Softball? Yeah, Sam's my wife. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. What a small world, I like it. So you probably don't like that I've been talking about everywhere that Sam fucked. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that we're uh, a swinger crowd. You guys aren't like a garage door halfway up type of crowd. You know? Yeah, you guys don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. That's a Canadian reference. <laughs> uh, okay, please don't fight me after the show. Um, okay, you are now my bodyguard. You graduated. You were the secretary. And you were the incest manager. Bodyguard. It's way she goes, bro. Way she goes. Yeah. Look at me. I'm the captain now, okay? I run the ship. Okay, who do we got beside uh, Martin? Lucas. Lucas. Why'd you look at me like I was that idiot? <laughs> Obviously, my name's fucking Lucas. <laughs> Have you seen my man bun? Clearly, my name is fucking Lucas. <laughs> who is not Lucas in Austria? Fuck, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know about you Austrians anymore, buddy. <laughs> Lucas, uh, what's your relation to these two? I'm in the same team. <laughs> same company. Same what? Same softball team. Oh, and team. Okay. It's funny that you guys have softball out here. I thought that was like something that fucking Dylan is frapping. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. And then what? What do you do here? Here. For, Top for living. You fucking guys. Are <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaning the streets. I'm a been empty. <laughs> no. uh, what the fuck did he just say? Huh? Garbage collector. Oh, garbage collector. Okay. okay. Uh, you sound like you have marbles in your mouth. So <laughs> By now, at this point in the show, you guys are realizing that not all Canadians are nice people. <laughs> this is one thing. This is why I am here. I am here to spread the word. We are assholes, just like you Austrians. Okay? That's why we get along. I like it. Holy fuck, I just noticed this dude. I don't want to talk to him. Look at the biceps on this dude. <laughs> no, no, you Holy fuck. Big old pipes on this guy. 
Do you even fuck or do you just get naked and bench press her? <laughs> <laughs> my god. What's your name, dude? Max. Max? Yeah. Nice. Where? Oh, fuck, my alarm went off. Fuck it. Lock the doors. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, Max. That's an interesting. Is that short for something? Yeah, Maximilian. Oh, Max. I thought you said Max, like Tex Max. <laughs> Dylan just got a boner, eh? <laughs> Maximilian! <laughs> you're, uh, you're Austrian? Yes. Yeah, okay. And uh, what's your job? What do you do? I'm an engineer. <laughs> Bro. Imagine if we were both in like the fucking crowd and just like doctor, engineer, whatever the fuck they do. And it's just like I tell dick jokes, I do the Wi Fi. Yeah. <laughs> and the garbage collector. And the garbage collector. Oh my God. And he's just like, I'm the captain of the softball team. <laughs> no, that's me. Something where I can tell someone. Well, I was just gonna say, that's nothing to brag about. <laughs> Show me where you are in the standings before we start pulling our dicks out, okay? <laughs> that's great. Okay, so Max, you're an engineer and you're here with your wife, girlfriend? Yes, wife. Wife? What's your name, miss? Barbara. Barbara. Welcome. And you're Austrian as well? Yes. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a teacher. Okay, nice. Engineer, teacher. How'd you guys meet? Through friends. You guys are really vague. <laughs> you guys can just say that you met in an alley and fucked. Like, it's perfectly, I would believe you. It's fine. Okay, what was what was your first date? Uh, actually, in the park. <laughs> he was really drunk still. <laughs> and you haven't let him forget it ever since. Classic fucking wife move. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Do you guys have children? No. No. Sick. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's good. All right. My guy. It's your turn. My guy. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> I was happy until you started insulting all my friends. <laughs> What's your name, dude? Marcelino. Marcel. Fuck, that's hot. Marcelino. <laughs> this guy fucks. <laughs> You're here just hanging out with your boss. This guy fucks. Max, <laughs> 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 I like that. Uh, where are you from, bro? I'm from Angola. Angola, nice, buddy. You're far. What brought you here? <laughs> My parents. <laughs> <laughs> Son, we are heading to Austria. They need token black people there. Come here. I like it. What's your job here? What do you do? I'm selling shoes. Selling shoes? Yeah, you got your competition. Eh? I like that. That's good. We're going to have a fucking clothing cage match. You guys fight to the death. Whoever wins gets to keep selling clothes. That's how we're going to do it. He's going to kick the fuck out of me. I need a new bodyguard, bro. Yeah. Marcelino, you're my new bodyguard, okay? Depends on how you, how you pay me. I'll buy you some fucking, I'll buy some shoes off you, okay? You got some like Nike pumps for me? Like what kind of shoes are you selling? Jordans. Jordans? Yeah, Jordans, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're here with your wife, girlfriend? Just a friend. Just a friend. Hey. Hey. How long has he been in the friend zone? Huh? Yeah. Yes, we are just friends. She made it very clear. And what's your name, miss? Smiley. Smiley? Is that like a stage name or? <laughs> like are you are you from Angola as well too? No. No. Where are you from? I'm literally African and American. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like, where in Africa? Um, Cameroon. Cameroon. Nice. Nice. Did they make the World Cup? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know who else didn't make the World Cup? Austria. <laughs> Golden generation. I've been waiting to fucking brag about that for so long. I'm so hyped about it, man. That's good. And then, uh, and Smiley, what, what do you what do you do uh, for work? What's your job? I'm a travel agent. Nice. I like that. That's good. Where should I head next? Asia. Yeah, yeah I can do that. I'm very kidnappable in Asia. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
I look like I have a rich dad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's funny because some. I actually uh, I was talking with someone who was from uh, Venezuela at another show, and they're like, "You should go." I'm like, "Nope." nope. <laughs> I'm getting kidnapped fucking there too, for sure. Yeah. One look at me, and they're like, "That guy's going in a trunk." <laughs> Absolutely. All right, we almost made it to the back row. This is good. This is good. We're making progress. How much time do I got left here? Yeah, you're looking at your watch like, we need to get the fuck <laughs> <laughs> This guy is too fucking much. 9.39. What time do you guys want to get out of here? 9.30. <laughs> too fucking bad. Uh, <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you guys choose. Life is all about choices, okay? So you guys are gonna choose what I do to close the show out. I can either tell you a joke, <laughs> or I continue to just do what I've been doing. Do what you've been doing. That was a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a joke. That was a joke. No, joke. Oh, yeah. a joke. Oh, no, I like how I separate. Okay, I'll do what I do. I'll do what I've been doing. And then I'll close on a joke. I'll give you the best of both worlds. Yeah. I'm a good person, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I want to talk to Sam's friend. Where, where, yeah, yeah, the girl with the fucking Mila Javovich hair. That's what I want to talk I'm, I'm not here, I'm like a silent observer tonight. That's Emma. My voice That's is Emma? Yeah, it's Emma. It's Emma. Wow, fucking Emma, you're getting thrown to the wolves right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Is that what you're going to say when Dylan fucking hits on you after the show? Uh, that's good. Emma, are you, are you an Austrian? No! Proudly no, honestly. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, alright. Relax, fucking softball team. We take everyone. You want to join us? We take everyone, I think. We take everyone. Watch your fucking drinks around us. Emma, where are you from? Uh, Serbia. Serbia, nice. I like that. Yeah. I have all of your cousins playing on my soccer team. Right. <laughs> we sleep together, man. We yeah. sleep together. That's different. <laughs> and then some guy just starts talking in Serbian. Yeah. I like it. Okay, hey, Emma, you'll confirm this about me because, like, the Serbians that I play soccer with, football, are psychos. Yeah. Yeah. But it's crazy. It's like you're. It, even like Romanians as well, it's just Eastern Europeans as a whole. I could like kick them in the dick, I could insult their mother, they wouldn't care. I trip them on the soccer field, they're gonna stab me in the fucking throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean after the NATO bombing, we're kinda used to everything, I guess. You know? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, is it too much? Is it too early? Not trying to get political here, Emma! Is it too early? I'm sorry, I'm joking, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what happens when she gets a couple Aperol spritzes in her, you know? <laughs> That's good. Uh, Emma, what do, you, what do you do for a living? What's your job? Uh, I mean, it's like a different thing. Like, what's my profession and what I do for a living? <laughs> I was under the impression that those were the same things. But, uh, I'm that because, like, my profession is uh, I'm a musician. Okay. But uh, I'm a bartender for a living. <laughs> yeah, because music doesn't fucking pay. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, I like it. What kind of music uh, do you play? Jazz. Nice. Oh, yeah. Jazz. It's yeah. hot, yeah. I like that. You and, get uh, the story, you get uh, the picture. What's the, are you just like, you just go by your name or do you have like a band name? Yeah. Free promotion, what do you got? I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually, I just have my band with my brother who's actually sitting right there. Uh, the guy who just doesn't speak English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the other guy that's gonna put me in a yeah, truck after so, the show. Yeah. So I, I have to speak for him. Okay. So what, what's your band name then? Uh, we don't. It's like Amelia Velkush band. What? <laughs> I'm glad you guys were on board with me on that one. <laughs> 
come up with like a bad name for 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 an occasion, so it's it's, it's usually very improvised. What are you guys on witness protection? <laughs> 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 that was a different band, man. You know, it's like always like different uh, in instrumentation. That's the thing. Sometimes we're gonna have like a guitar. Sometimes we have a trumpet. So you, you never know. No, I never. <laughs> Sorry, I asked. Um, <laughs> when's your next show? Tell people here. Uh, next show, actually, it's going to be with this lovely dancer here, I think. Uh, very soon, she does the... Today we do burlesque. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do things. When is this? We're going to do things. <laughs> May or something. May or something. <laughs> But I do have like my, my Abschluss concert and in June on jazz nights at uh, Anton Bruckner University. Oh. And if you guys have time, you know, it's like uh, 24th of June, yeah. She so sounds really organized. <laughs> Something. What are you playing? Sometimes jazz. Sometimes there's a dancer. I don't fucking know. We're all high, you know? <laughs> oh man, dude, I love you guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys are an awesome mom. So this has been this is my second last show. I'm in Prague tomorrow, and then I go home. Uh, this is this has been such a fun experience. I love the international comedy audiences because it's people from all walks of life, man. Romania, Angola, Serbia, a bunch of white people from Austria. <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't get that back home. I just have fucking white people from Canada in the suburbs. You know, <laughs> this is so great, man. Like this, uh, this gives me hope. You know what I mean? Like. 2022, like, you know, like, obviously, like, we still have a problem in the world with, like, you know, like, racism and, like, stuff like that. Never understood that. It gives me hope coming to, like, places like this. It's very good to see, man. I like it. And I never understood that, man. I never understood that even in, in, in 2022, you know, we still deal with shit like that. Why would, uh, why would we, okay, sorry, before I keep going, racism's bad, right? <laughs> okay, cool. You guys are looking at me like, oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, glad we understand each other. Yeah. yeah, man, I just I never I never understood, you know, like uh, I would never I would never hate someone because of the color of their skin. That's silly. I know we have to hate things, but we need to start hating things that are inclusive for everybody, right? So instead so if you are a silent racist person in this crowd right now, instead of hating people for things they can't control, let's hate people for things they do control. <laughs> so instead of hating people for the color of their skin, how about we hate cyclists? <laughs> You know, I fuck it. Fucking ding ding. <laughs> this isn't the Tour de France, buddy. Sorry, I spit all over you. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, you're in the splash zone. You know? <laughs> yeah. What about Viennese? Viennese? Oh, we love them. Can we still hate the Viennese? Vienna folk. Oh yeah, fuck them for sure. <laughs> but, it's a shithole. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. All of Austria is a shit. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, like, let's, uh, and, like, here's the thing, with the whole cyclist thing, like, uh, like, statistically, there's a lot of you in here. And I get it. You're just trying to reduce your carbon footprint. No problem. I still hope the tram just fucking dings you, though. Know? <laughs> yeah. So, I, but yeah, no, I've never, same with, like, uh, sexual orientation, man. Like, I would never hate on someone for being gay. You want to be gay, be gay. You want to suck a dick, suck a dick. Buddy, way too busy hating people who vape. <laughs> yeah, well, I hate on people that suck on robot dicks, okay? <laughs> These fucking people. <laughs> Picture that lady like spinning, uh, like ladle in a cauldron or something. Yeah. Vingari of Leviosa, yeah. Same with like, uh, with like the gender stuff. You know what I mean? You have like, uh, you have like, uh, uh, like women being like, you know, men are trash, men are this, men are that. Not nah, men. There's amazing men in my life. There's amazing men in your life. But men in their thirties who still skateboard. <laughs> That's a fucking problem. Man. You can afford to maintain a man bun, but you can't afford an Uber? Think of your children. Like, fuck. 
And then you get, you know, these incel motherfucker out. Women are shit. Women are this. Women are that. Not man. There's amazing women in my life. There's amazing women in your life. But <laughs> any girl that makes an Instagram account for her dog. <laughs> Yeah, I will show you the canal fucking jump. <laughs> I'm not going to follow the account of a shitty little purse dog that looks like more of a gremlin than you do without makeup. Not fucking happening. <laughs> but it's funny, man. It's funny when I talk about like social issues and shit like that. People get offended. Other white people, you know? They get so fucking mad, they like flip a bowl of pretzels, you know? And they're just like, you can't talk about this shit, Nick! You can't talk about this shit, better check your privilege. Better check your privilege. <laughs> and they're like acting like I'm holding my white privilege. Like it's like a fish that I caught in the lake, you know? I don't control it, man. It's just like how I was born, man. Like, like white privilege is like a red-headed stepchild. <laughs> it's a part of your life you just don't tell people about. It. <laughs> I didn't check to see if there was any gingers in there. <laughs> you know what, if you're a ginger and that offended you and you want to like run up in here and like punch me in the face, the stage lights would probably singe your skin. Uh, so I'm very safe. <laughs> I don't need my bodyguard, I'm good. You're about to incest manager. Uh, yeah. <laughs> White privilege is like, uh, it's like having like a 15 inch dick, you know? Like it's visually pleasing to some, but not everybody wants you to rub it in their fucking face. <laughs> What's an inch? <laughs> I don't know, ask the fucking softball team. <laughs> White privilege. <laughs> White privilege is like being in an arranged marriage with a really hot chick. Like you didn't choose it, but you're pleased with the end. <laughs> and that nervous laughter, that's fucking white guilt. That's what that is. <laughs> Fuck, I wish I had more alcohol, but I don't. <laughs> so right. mad. Normally you're supposed to end your show with like a big laughter. So we're gonna have to do another 10 minutes now. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I'm tired. You guys have fucking tired me out of right. <laughs> Go home and try and convince my girlfriend I haven't cheated on her this entire time. <laughs> I'm kidding. You guys are way too hot for me. It's fine. She knows I'm not fucking out here. So. <laughs> yeah, man. Before me and my girlfriend were like officially together, uh, before we like put the label on it, you know? She was like, you need to go get an STI check. Yeah. And you guys are, it's uh, where you make sure you don't have any unwanted <laughs> souvenirs down there. <laughs> uh, so I go to get set STI check because I want to keep getting my dick sucked. Um, and I was in the, like, the nurse's office, right? And she came up to me and she said something that I like, wasn't prepared for, you know what I mean? Like she walked in and she's like, remember Nick? No news is good news. <laughs> yeah, what's with the fucking riddles, help? <laughs> you guys not just tell me I'm good to go? We don't need to turn this into a fairy tale, okay? Like, picture sure you're putting on like a wizard cap and being like, you could have chlamydia, you might be clean, but for the next three weeks, your sexual health are foreseen. <laughs> I did some research, okay? Shocking statistics. It turns out that one in six people have or have had something. <laughs> Dylan, nervous <laughs> This guy's had the class, hey? Yeah. So like, that's crazy, bro. So like, if you're not using protection, that's like playing Russian roulette with your dick, okay? And that made me realize something very, very important. I'm fucking really good at Russian roulette, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm Nick Burton. You guys did a fantastic <laughs>